Life for Jennifer and Carlos and their three children is not much better on the streets of Cucuta than it was in Venezuela. But they say it is still better. It's the only way we have to earn enough to live, to survive. I'm very grateful for the Colombians who help us. They give us food, clothes for the kids. Jose says he fled from political persecution nine months ago, leaving behind his family, hoping to soon return. I crossed the border about 10 in the morning to the Cucuta bus terminal. I was totally lost, looking all around me. What could I do? I cried. I spent two nights sleeping in the terminal. He made it to this hostel, but became sick and needs an operation. His future is uncertain. They're just some of the tens of thousands of Venezuelans who have crossed into Colombia, many desperate, helpless, needing aid and assistance. Many here are asking for how much longer President Nicolas Maduro can survive, with food and medicine scarce, with inflation rampant and with almost daily protests. Cucuta is coping for now, but how will it cope with thousands more Venezuelans fleeing across a porous border? The local authorities say crime, especially prostitution and drugs, are rising, but they're keeping them in check, with shows of force, with a presence, in places they say activity is rife. We're prepared for any situation. We hope we never get an avalanche of Venezuelans trying to leave, since that would mean things had deteriorated in their country. But we would respond immediately. National and international aid organizations are working with the local and the Colombian governments to coordinate relief efforts, to plan ahead. Network, we are trying to uh, have short-term solutions, uh, uh, emergencies, humanitarian help, in the medium term, job creation and employment, in the long term, education, to help the children of migrants to integrate in the society. Many here believe it's inevitable the situation in Venezuela will deteriorate. All they can do is prepare to deal with the consequences, but without knowing what form that deterioration will take or when it will happen. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Cucuta, Colombia.